All right, man, so a few abilities have went through a couple of changes inside this update. I did not catch them when I made the update video. I did not catch them the day after that. I didn't catch them till now because Frank Nitty commented on my uh, video, and he let me know that Fadeaway Midshot uh, was reworked. So I went ahead and started looking at all the abilities to figure out what else got changed, and I found a few things that might actually interest y'all. So first we're looking at Alto. His diving block was changed. Instead of just simply tapping your shoot button and diving block activates, every single time and uh basically messing you up when it comes down to blocking those dunks you no longer have to worry about that because now if you tap your block button he's gonna do a regular block but if you hold your block button he's gonna do a diving block so you're gonna actually be able to more effectively block those dunks inside the paint without having to learn the proper positioning to block it with diving block and that's definitely gonna help out a whole lot so let's move on to the next one all right, we got Camille's faint dribble pulled up. So at first, he was getting the exact same thing as Justin. After an ankle breaker, he would get 10% extra accuracy for, I believe, 18 seconds. And that first part inside the first sentence of the level four, that was always there. He always had the uh, increased speed of the dribble move by 20. But now, instead of getting 10% extra accuracy after an ankle breaker, he just guaranteed gets an additional 7% extra accuracy after a faint dribble for a total of 10%. So just think about the fact that Justin has to get a ankle breaker in order to get 10% extra accuracy but Camille does not he just gets that 10% extra accuracy anyway but the only difference between them is that Camille's accuracy boost is only inside the mid-range area and Justin's accuracy boost can boost his three-point shot as well so wait a minute let's just go look at Justin again real quick <laughs> just to make sure man so abilities oh never mind here we go uh faint dribble yep so Justin still has the same thing. It's just Camille's that was changed. So let's go ahead and look at um, the next one. All right, we got fadeaway mid shot pulled up. Um, Boas is going to be the exact same thing as well. I already went and looked at it. <laughs> so um, instead of getting 2% extra wide open accuracy at level 2 and 2% disturbance resistance at level 3, you're going to get a total of 7% disturbance resistance from this ability now. And uh, I noticed that fadeaway mid shots were going in a whole lot more consistently now. But like way way more consistently now than they used to be and it's not because of the disturbance resistance i think the base accuracy on the fadeaway mid shots was just increased so don't be afraid to take those fadeaway mid shots now it is not just a chucking ability for when you need to get rid of the ball before the shot clock runs out so all right man that's just about cover everything just make sure y'all keep in mind these abilities have been changed so make sure that you are actually using them in the way that they were changed to be a uh, fadeaway mid shot seven percent disturbance resistance does not mean you only have to use that contested because it's like i said you can actually still make those quite consistently if you have a decent mid-range shot anyway so that's it and i'll catch you on the next one